Hello everyone, welcome back to Victoria 3. Today, we are taking a break from Victoria 3 A to Z in favor of going back to a few of the, what we'll call them, fan favorites. Today, we will be tackling the Ottoman Empire. So, I know many of you know this, but I'm gonna state it anyway. The Ottoman Empire has not been doing too hot recently. They are known as the Sick Man of Europe, and we have a whole event dedicated to being the Sick Man of Europe. Basically speaking, we suck. Uh, great reform is needed. We got all these just terrible, terrible things down here. 33% uh, prestige debuff, 25 bureaucracy debuff, taxation capacity debuff, and minus 40% conscriptable battalions. It is rough. However, there is quite an easy way to fix this. We're gonna come over to the journal tab and we're going to look at the Tanzimit journal entries. So there's several of these. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So from the top down, we have Tanzimit reclaim Syria. Basically, we lost a bunch of stuff to Egypt and we need to take it back. We have claims on all of this territory and we could immediately go to war with uh, Egypt. Only problem being, we have a truce with them, so we can't do that until 1840. So we can't do that one quite yet. We have Tanzimit urbanization. This basically wants us to spread out the urbanization in our empire so that we have enough buildings to support all of our people or 75% of all Ottoman states are urbanized. This is a little bit more difficult than it sounds as we need to build more than at least one one building in every state. Uh, next one is Tanzimit education reform. This one's not too bad. We need a university that's level five or greater with 90% occupancy, and we need to bring the literacy rate up by 20%. Honestly, it's not too bad, but it's probably one of the more difficult ones. Not because it's hard, but because all the other ones are really, really easy. Uh, we can suppress separatism. Uh, basically, we have to have no secession movements for 15 years. I'm gonna be honest, I have never failed this one. I don't know how to get it to fail. I think you just have to conquer some stuff and then they have to break away and that will cause it to fail. But I have never done that because, you know, you don't want to make wars like that this early on. And even if you do, you can probably keep them under control for that long. Tanzimit Army Modernization. This one is a little bit complicated, but pretty much you got to have every one of your barracks be the most up-to-date version, not be irregulars. They need to be line infantry, so we have to have Napoleonic Warfare and they can't have no organized training which if we come to the military tab, actually no, to the buildings tab, go to development, it's this right here. We need this to be general training, so we have to get a technology in the military tab. It is general staff, which can take a little bit to get to in order to do that one. And finally, we have the bureaucratic reform, which requires us to pass two laws and not have a bureaucracy deficit. This one's actually not too bad, but it is a little chance-based because we gotta get off hereditary bureaucrats, which that one is the easy one, and then we gotta get off land-based taxation. That one's a little bit harder because there's a secret in there being that we cannot change to per capita taxation without getting off of traditionalism and we can't get off traditionalism without inventing, I believe, romanticism? Yes, we need romanticism to go to agrarianism and we can't have serfdom to do interventionism. And we do have serfdom and serfdom is very hard to get off of. So we have a few options. Personally, I am going to start off with the society. We're gonna take romanticism first and then go down the military path. We're gonna take Napoleonic and then go to general staff. That is all the technologies we need to finish the Tanzimit stuff. Specifically, we are gonna go for Tanzimit Reclaim Syria. We're gonna go for Suppress Separatism, Army Modernization, and the secret third one, which will show up after we reclaim Syria. So immediately right off the bat, I am going to start improving relations with Austria because they kind of hate me and I don't want them to get involved with me in the future. They are a potential ally though, if they see us as conciliatory, which they do, so the chances of us actually being able to get a relationship there is kind of high. Uh, Budget-wise, I'm just going to start auto-expanding some stuff. Gonna unpause, see how much money that's gonna cost, add a consumption tax to make up for the fact that that's gonna cost some money. And I'm also gonna improve my military wages just so we have a little bit more prestige. I'm gonna check back. Looks like the Ottomans are actually improving relations with us, which is pretty fortunate actually. So we may be able to get an alliance there. Uh, budget wise, I think I'm gonna take my taxes up a notch and I'm also going to upgrade all of my units, which is gonna cost me a bit, but we will be okay. Now, in the meantime, I'm gonna reduce the autonomy of some of my subjects just for more money. Serbia, they have a 37% chance to accept, so probably not them. 
not Valakia and not Moldavia off the bat, but I do believe I can do Tunis off the bat. Yep, they will accept. We'll knock that one out. They're going to pay us a little bit of money. I'm going to also start improving relations with Serbia, Valakia, and Moldava. Moldava, Moldavia. That way we can annex them once they are loyal to us because they are all rebellious, they all hate us, and that's just how it goes as the Ottoman Empire. Everybody hates you, everybody wants you dead. Now, also in the meantime, I am going to make a protectorate out of Jabal Shamar because I want to have them help me in my war against Egypt later, just as a little bit. You know, they're not going to do too much, but it does give us maybe one or two extra troops, which never really hurts. Also, we'll be able to annex them later and make our borders look nice, which I like making borders look good. I'm kind of shallow like that. Uh, it looks like taxes are a little bit higher than I thought, so clothes, tax... That, that'll hold us out. All right, so I don't think these guys are going to give in. So we're gonna mobilize, send these dudes to the front, and they're just going to annihilate them there. Now, in the meantime, politics tab, I wanna get away from hereditary bureaucrats. We'll try to pass this one. It doesn't have a high chance to pass, but if we get lucky with the bureaucratic one, we'll take it. It'll get us done a little bit faster, but it's not very consistent. It's really, really chance-based. So I try to avoid uh, relying on it, we'll say. Looks like our small arms are a little bit lacking, so I'm gonna import from Austria just to get them to like us a bit more. I might try to get a trade agreement later if they like us enough. We'll beat Jabal Shamar incredibly easy. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of these insurrection ones. We'll just do the top one because it gives us less radicals overall, I believe. And Jabal Shamar is mine, and I'll be able to make them a protectorate right now. Excellent. Uh, I believe while that is also going, I'm gonna start snagging up some of these guys in North Africa before France can, as France will get in my way and try to take them from me. So I want to get to them first. So we'll try and who do I want to snag actually? I think we'll go with Constantine first. Since we have a border with Tunis, we can honestly probably make Tunis beat them for us. I might do that. We have bureaucratic Imbroglio. Imbroglio. Uh, that's going to hurt a bit. We're going to try and get lucky with this. The chances of that actually passing are really, really low, though. All right, looks like they're going to win that. I'll just let them fight it by themselves. That way, I don't have to pay money for it. We'll see if they'll actually push. Looks like they will. Works for me. Okay, uh, I'm not going to do that top one. I don't want the infamy. We're going to need to keep our infamy a little bit low just so we can uh, break into Egypt later without people getting mad at us. Enactment time and enactment success chance. Let's do it. Ooh, what is this? Radicals from discrimination of the Sunni pops become more radical to see the Sunni aren't gonna break away so I think that's okay they're yeah mm. but we do have more loyalists so that's okay for now it shouldn't be a big problem at this point and Constantine will become our protectorate which is nice we'll do the same thing to Tagort no one will back them up and even if they would back them up they can't get there so it doesn't even matter and we can honestly just let Tunis fight that one out too red tape mmm name and success chance I'll take it I'll take that box 23% chance to pass. We might get it, but I'm not... Eh, I, I don't really see it happening, to be honest. It's kind of just a, you know, if we get it, we get it type of deal. All right, and Tunis is going to win that war for us, which is excellent. Ooh, that's going to hurt. We're already on two setbacks. That is not good. We've been stalling super hard. Right of Assembly will take appointed bureaucrats on this petition because we're already trying to pass it anyway. Might as well get something out of it if we succeed. All right, uh, you want to become my protector? You do. Excellent. Okay, so now if we check our market, we can see we've expanded our influence just a little bit not too too far but it is enough to make a little bit of a difference uh same thing like i said we're just gonna make a bunch of small protectorates until we can fight egypt so same thing down here this one we'll have to fight ourselves but that's not really a problem they can go here looks like we might have to take taxes up again because we are missing out on a lot a lot of money looks like a lot of it's going to government buildings all right add here service tax and tax is just going up to tier five because yeah it it is what it is. It is as it is. We got legislative graveyard on appointed bureaucrats. I kind of saw that coming. It's very disappointing and it kind of screws us, to be honest. Hmm, actually, I probably should have done that. I miss. I made a mistake. I didn't realize I could do that. I had an intelligentsia uh, sultan. Did not realize that. I could have taken great advantage of that. Oh, well, we can still take advantage of it. Minor, minor, uh-oh, minor oopsie, oopsie doopsie. Our standard of living is absolutely abysmal right now. <laughs> that is rough. All right, and now we're just making a whole lot of money back, so maybe I take it back down for a second. That can at least keep our standard of living a little bit higher. A little bit higher is always a little bit good. You become my protectorate. Almost, almost, not quite yet. Just a little bit more. 
and piece deal. Boom, easy. Now we're still at zero infamy, so we honestly can just keep going and going and going on this. Mascara, no one's gonna get involved. Let's make him a protectorate. That'll keep France mostly out of North Africa. Hopefully they don't get mad at me for that. Actually, they absolutely will get mad at me for that, but it's okay, it's France, they can shove it. How's Austria looking? Their willingness to get an alliance is kinda high. What's their attitude towards me? Genial. Okay, that's good. Cordial. They're still improving relations with me. I'm improving relations with them. We're all looking good. Now, Mascara might be a bit of a problem to invade. We're gonna see how well this goes. Mobilize there. We have Romanticism now, so we can try to pass. I forget, I think it's Agrarianism. We need at least some support for that. These guys oppose it, but that's not too bad. Can I put the Royal Folk in to get it passed? Okay, 40. I will take that, and then we'll try agrarianism. There's no stall chance because they haven't formed a movement against it yet, but they probably will. They probably will. All right, you guys get ready to naval invade Mascara. We'll hit right there with 33 boats, and that should give us enough to overpower them. It might be a little bit hard on the first push, but we, we can win this. If it takes two naval invasions, it takes two naval invasions. Uh, looks like we got it actually. Cool. That'll. Oh, never mind. They just. Uh, cl they clutched up. They clutched up. Oh, never mind. They're losing again, but we're already retreating. That is unfortunate, but I don't think they're going to be able to hold off all the way. They've already lost half their manpower. I got way more. You're done, so if we make another invasion. All right, another invasion. This one's gonna go our way. They don't have enough troops left. They're all gonna die, especially after this one. Yeah, poor visibility. We got double their troops in the battle. Almost, not quite, doesn't matter. Mascara's going down. All right, so that's one battle done, and they've got no more troops, really. So this is just gonna become a slaughter from this point on. Yeah, yeah, now they've only got 5,000 troops to defend total. That battle is Jover. Unequal treaties? Uh, we'll owe Britain an obligation. That should make them like us maybe a bit more. Maybe, possibly, perhaps, probably not. All right, let me see if I can import some stuff. Already importing artillery from the Austrian market. Okay, let me export stuff to their market clothes. All our general goods, coal, fabric, fish, furniture, grain, food. I want a trade agreement with them. Maybe I just export my entire country to them while that war rages on. I have opium, I have paper, I have sugar, I have sulfur, I have tools, I have wood. Trade agreement, let's get it. There we go. And that'll increase our relations even further, even faster. They're amicable and they're gonna keep going up. We can't form an alliance yet, but they will in a bit. Ah, uh, national supremacy support, I don't really want that. We'll do that one. Okay, and mascara is now mine as well. I'm gonna prove relations with all these guys that I kinda just ate, just so they're not as mad at me. And then honestly, I might rival the US. Looks like I don't have any interests declared, which is kind of dumb of me. I should do that. Declare one over in Dixie, France, England, and Germany. That should let me rival the US, right? Uh, there we go. That'll give me some more influence to work with, and we can keep moving. So we haven't done any of the Tanzimit stuff quite yet. It's almost, almost time to fight Egypt again. We got six days. Actually, I hit that right on the head. All right, return state. We're going to take out the Ottoman Empire. We want all of these in one go. No one's gonna back them up. These guys hate them. I can't call in Austria-Hungary, even though, like I say, they might be willing to, but probably not. I'm just gonna add all these return state war goals, not conquer state. We wanna do return states because those are way less on the infamy charge. And return state, return state, and return state. Now, military, now we need to... Never mind, we do not have access to extra supplies yet. I guess if you did have access, you'd wanna do that, but we do not have access, so we are not going to do that. I am, however, going to promote... Not the defensive dude. Do I have a offensive dude? I do not, so I will just promote this guy. Now, we should be able to beat Egypt pretty decisively as long as you've done everything I've done and upgraded all your units because they've got 2,000 military power altogether. We have 3,000, roughly 1,000 more than them. Uh, we're searing our authority in Syria, so all the other great powers are going to get an interest in this region. We can either just offer them one or we can lose out on a little bit of our influence but make them all like us. And I'm going to do that top one just because getting them all to like us will make them not jump in on their side. And the influence hit is honestly negligible. 
and we can get an alliance with Austria, which you may or may not be able to do in your game, but I did, and I did this on my test run too, so I can, you'll probably be able to do that if you want to. Now that I've got an alliance with Austria, that means that most of my woes are just gone at this point. Uh, I should probably mobilize all my troops though. You are mountain, okay, so these guys are gonna go here, and they're just gonna play defense. Here's our strategy. So those guys get there, play defense. These guys go to Tripolitania and also play defense. We're gonna take this 22 guy and he's gonna go wherever they put more troops on. So mobilize and it looks like they're gonna put more troops on the Tripolitania front. So we're gonna take more troops to the Tripolitania front. Uh, just rumors. We're also going to mobilize this guy, the 30, the 30 army. So here we go. Actually, it looks like this should hold and this should hold fine. While these fronts fight, there's not gonna be anybody to guard their naval ports down here. They do have a navy, but their navy sucks compared to our navy, so we will win. So, naval invasion into Lower Egypt with our navy, confirm, and honestly we just let it play out because they're gonna land uncontested. They'll have to fight their navy, which will win, and we actually look at that, never mind, never mind. We just already landed, war's already over because we have the capital and that's all you need. And I'm just gonna have them push until they meet resistance, and resistance is almost there, and we have another front here. Okay, so that's easy. 22k you're gonna move over to this front and you're gonna play defense you are also going to play defense defense wins wars we've already got what we need we just need to hold it looks like we may be actually losing some of these battles up here but that is honestly fine why are there why is there no general there's a general maybe i hire another general play defense like i told you to defend the front thank you please there we go Dang, why do they have 34 offense? That is a lot, but it's honestly not gonna matter. Uh, we're going to run this dude up the coast. Advanced front, I'm gonna hire some more dudes just to advance even faster while they're not paying attention. They're gonna push all the way up through here. These guys are gonna hold on. Excellent. And as we just take more and more of the war goal, they're gonna lose their war support even faster and faster. Looks like they might make a few pushes up here. This is not getting enough people back in to reinforce it. So you guys can play defense now that you've joined joined up the fronts. That is okay. I think they are losing really badly, actually. And now they're not. They've been reinforced. You guys suck. You are a terrible defensive general. You are cruel. All right, doesn't matter. We, we've we won. We just got to sit and wait, really. Actually, I wonder if I could tell these dudes to attack and if they'd actually be any good at it. You know what? Let's, let's not. Let's not do that. Let's not cause needless casualties like an idiot. All right. Uh, what's all this? Approval, approval. We'll take the approval. And mining accident. We'll give it to the industrialists. Industrialists, good, and agrarianism is going nowhere. Oh, I have not been paying attention, but legal scapegoat, that works. There we go, they're getting cooked now. Order restored in Barca, more loyalists, so take it. We have a very, very high radical count, but that will be okay. The French Republic is blowing up. I'm okay with this. All right, so all we gotta do is just wait for them to be willing to give in to all of our demands, and then we will press them, and that will be our first transmit done. On one more tick, that should be enough. Right there. Okay, there we go. Now we've claimed all of this stuff. We will need to incorporate it, though. At least part of it. Syria, Lebanon, Palestine, and Transjordan will all need to be incorporated, and our peace treaty with, uh, with Egypt will continue again. Now, now that that Tanzimit is done, we have a new Tanzimit called Reclaim Egypt. It's basically the same thing that Syria was, but just further down in more states. Now, the nice thing about this is that Egypt is pretty much only a major power based on one state, and that is Lower Egypt. We now have a claim on Lower Egypt, which means we can take their state with basically no penalty to infamy whatsoever. So after we take that, Egypt will become an insignificant power. We'll be able to pop at them and take pretty much all of it. Uh, but now that we're just kind of chilling and waiting on technology again, we got to get to E not a regular general staff. And it looks like army reserves are going to be on technology spread, which is actually really, really nice. So yeah, once these three are done, we'll be able to finish another Tanzimit. And then the other one that we will do is the suppressed separatism, which is already halfway done on its own without doing anything. So in the meantime, I'm gonna reduce autonomy on any subject I can who won't put up a fight. Tunis will do so. Serbia will not. Wallachia will not. And Moldavia will not. That's okay. They'll like us eventually. I believe they're all still just rebellious yeah, yeah, that, that's how it goes. Rebellious, rebellious, natural enemy. I'm not worried about it. They'll fall in line soon enough. So since we're kind of doing nothing at the moment, I'm going to make more protectors just everywhere. Uh, I'm going to hit Oman next because no one's going to come to their aid. 
Maybe the Trucial States do, but I'd like to conquer them anyway, so we're just gonna confirm that. We'll make Oman, we'll naval invade them to get them to give in. They don't have any troops at all, hardly. They've got some in Zanzibar, but that doesn't matter. If we make them a protectorate and, you know, do all the stuff, then we'll get a foothold in Zanzibar, actually, and then we could probably push up north, except we'll have to push through a British colony, so maybe we don't. We won't be able to push through Kenya. Also going to throw on some war reps there, just to see if I can get them to back in or give in or whatnot. Military looks like we are now at Napoleonic Warfare, which means, uh, actually that doesn't really mean anything. We can upgrade to line infantry, but I'm pretty sure we could already do that, maybe? Not entirely sure, to be honest. What does Napoleonic Warfare give you? Mobile artillery and lancers. Ah, that's what it is. The artillery is now stronger and better. All right, looks like we do have to naval invade them anyway, and these guys are just not getting their troops back. So the 22K stack will land in Oman instead. That's all right. They'll mobilize on the way there. Scriptable Italians instead of radicals, that's okay. We don't need conscripts. I don't like using conscripts anyway, so I, I don't really bat an eye when I lose a bunch of conscription rate. Good vintage, more prestige, I will take it. Prestige is good for me. Dissenters break ranks. Uh, that's a problem, we'll take... We'll take the bottom one. Either it passes or it don't. It ain't going to, it's not going to. That's why I don't really like to go for those. They're very, very luck based. You either get them, you either get really lucky and you get them, or you just don't. All right, naval invasions. Looks like they're gonna go off quite clean and we are going to snag Oman into our empire as well. Check our market access. We have quite a bit. We are not quite fully done with restoring the Ottoman Empire, but we are quite close. Yes, Oman cannot put up an effort. They cannot put up a fight whatsoever. They're gonna fall pretty much instantly and we are going to be solid. There we go, Ottoman capital down. Not Ottoman, Omani capital down, sorry. I am disliterate, illiterate, dyslexic, something like that, one or the two. Maybe both, wouldn't that be fun? All right, Oman's dying, Omani protectorate. We added war reps so that they would agree faster and that's another one in the books. We'll look and check, see if we can reduce autonomy. Looks like Jabal Shamar would not accept. They are rebellious, that is interesting. Natural enemy, that's fine. Uh, we'll just wait for it to disappear. It always disappears eventually. Uh, Constantine will accept, so we'll knock them down and then we can snag Aitavas, which they're not gonna accept, but no one's gonna save them. And Constantine is just stronger, so Constantine will dump on them. Well, maybe, maybe. They don't have a general. These guys also don't have a general, so maybe I'll just send in my troops to deal with it. Send them in. Public address goes awry. Uh, that is bad. I don't think we are going to get that law passed, which is, you know, I, like I say, I fully expect to not be able to pass it. it. It just is what it is. And another simple, simple war to grow ourselves just ever so slightly more powerful. And yet again, another one falls. And while we were doing that, I also noticed, reduce autonomy, that Serbia is now willing to accept, so we'll take them out. And they are now our dominion. I'll check these others and see if they're willing to. Looks like Wallachia will. Love to see it. I like the color being my color instead of their color. And then reduce autonomy. Can we do Moldavia? We can do Moldavia. Do them as well. We built up a little bit of infamy doing that, but we also make more money doing that. So I'm going to cut taxes now, make our people's lives just a little bit better, and then also change my construction sectors over to iron frame because we kind of need to do that, to be honest. Um, also, let's see. Diplomatic packs reduce autonomy. Jabal Shamar still will not accept. And who's the other one? Tagort. Tagort will accept, so we'll do them. Boom, now our empire looks much, much better than what it did. Very close to army reserves being done, so then we just need to wait for general staff, which honestly shouldn't take that long if we're being honest. Looks like four years, that's plenty of time for me. Law proposal causes uproar. The Kurds become more radical. There's barely any Kurds in the Ottoman Empire, so I don't really care. Let's see what else I can do. There's army reserves, make protectorate. Let's take uh, these guys down. Looks like the Ionian Islands will join in, but that's okay because I would love to snag them as well. We'll see if they actually jump in or not. They're probably way too fearful to do so. We're gonna add war reps to speed this up so that they hopefully 
give in. Maybe they won't, but all it's going to take is me mobilizing on them, and they will be in total fear. They've got one troop. Nothing's going to matter. And it just kind of helps clean up the borders, really. And weirdly enough, they decide to fight it out, even though they are going to get absolutely... Uh, never mind, I couldn't finish the sentence before it happened to them. They got curb stomped. Right, as soon as this falls under, they should be willing to accept. It's just the same thing over and over and over, just snagging up little powers, gobbling them up into our empire. Ooh, I don't think I can capitalize on this. I could offer support. Damn. Ask for an obligation. No, thank you, actually. But I do want you guys to win. Actually, actually, here, I can capitalize on this as a truce. Oh, no, never mind. I can't help them. But it looks like they should be able to win anyway. They've got way more troops. Military power is 1,000 and military power is 800. So hopefully the aristocratic revolt wins because then my truce is done and I can just go right back in and pound them again. So we will watch this with great interest. Any reductions of autonomy, we can do Nejd. That is excellent. And then, honestly, I can probably do Jabal Shamar, even if they won't accept it, because we'll just, we'll just pummel them. We'll just demolish them, honestly. Confirm. You better back down. You're not going to. You're going to get absolutely curb stomped. Let's snag a new general. Who do we want? We want this guy. He's going to go in with his six troops. He's just going to win it all. And we can also do extra supply now that we have the technology for it. So yippee, let's do that on all of our armies for the extra military power. Now, why is everybody happy? Or actually, no, sorry, dishappy. Dishappy? Angry. Uh, because everybody hates the government. So we need to fix radicals in a bit. Even though standard of living has been going up, they don't really care. That's all right, though. Egypt's getting cooked right now. Never mind, they're cooking. What's their military power? 400. And what's these guys' military power? 700, 800. Hopefully, the normal Egypt loses and I just take advantage of them immediately after. Even though we do have 12 infamy, which is a little bit much. So I should probably chill. What is this? Hmm. That is less than ideal, but I can maybe help? German leadership. This is going to hurt, but I want to keep my alliance with Austria. So we'll do that. And we're probably going to get smacked in the process. Process. Um, if it looks like we're gonna lose too badly, I might just leave the war. We'll have to wait and see though. What's going on here? Yeah, Austria is fearful. Honestly, but you should probably just give in. I'm gonna be honest. Law debate failed. That's all right. We're gonna be losing out on some money just for a bit. I'm showing my support for my brethren, but my brethren is weak AF and he will die. Um, uh, yeah, this is bad for me. All right, Jabal Shamar being mine is not bad for me though. And I'll shoot back down, rightfully so. That was the right call. You were not gonna win that war. Egypt down here is not gonna win its war and we're about to take full advantage of it. We're just gonna chill. And honestly, how did this get to adoption with 0% chance to pass? What is the other percent? Debate, so we'll probably get a debate. Let's go, Egypt is dead and we can take advantage of this when they finally decide to peace out. Insurrection, no, I don't care, don't care. No, 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 do not care. All right, we're just gonna sit and chill and wait. This Egypt is now here. So let's see if we can do our return state play. We can, eight infamy down here. Uh, who all's involved? Nobody, we can win this instantly. So they're fearful, which is a little bit sad. Let me do the return state. It's gonna be some infamy cost, but that's okay. I do need to take all of these ideally. So 13, that's gonna add some infamy. That's okay in this one. They're not gonna be allowed to back down. There's no one here to get involved. We will win because they just got out of a war. They've got no military power whatsoever. And like I say, we are gonna have some infamy after this, but this will finish our second Tanzimit journal entry. And we're also almost done with the separatism one. So all we really need is for this last technology to finish and we will have the Tanzimit done. Though we will have to kind of peace out for a bit afterwards. Who is Egypt at war with already? Hold on, hold on. Oh, they were at war with somebody. I don't know who it was, doesn't matter. All right, naval invasions right here. 
Oh, hold on. I hit the wrong button. Naval invasions right here. Lower Egypt with the Navy this time. I forgot about the Navy part. Yep, they're going to move all the... What are you doing? Get your ass back here. Where are you going? You up... Uh, uh, okay, I don't know why that was necessary, but good job. You you did that, I guess. Why did you walk away from the front and then walk back? Are you just trying to prank me? Legislative failures? Yes, I know. I know the legislation is failing. That's what they do. They do a lot of that. Where was my Navy at? Why were you... Oh, I remember. You were in the, the boats oh, invading Oman. That's okay. I should improve relations with Oman so that they will agree to being annexed later. And there we go. Landing without any contention whatsoever. Advance front, advance front, advance front, advance front. Uber blast. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, all right. So they're going to hold them there. Other pushes, please. Victory is ours. It's over for Egypt. They're done. They are donezo. We're just pushing the front faster than they can get there. <laughs> They can't catch up to the front! Bro! <laughs> they can't catch the front! <laughs> they're, they're behind us! Guys, turn around! Up another 24 days until they get there. 23... Up, oh, up. Oh, they lost the entire country. They lost the entire country. That's what happens when you run fast and eat ass, my friends. And now it looks like they're doing the same thing to me, and I'm gonna lose the capital, which is kind of dumb. Nope. Oh, we made it. We made it. Time to cook. Cooking time. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter how hard you try. All right. Egypt done. Other transmit was done. Uh, I accidentally skipped through it, but it's done. We've got two of them now. Sick Man of Europe is 50% completed. Uh, separatism's almost done, so all we really need now is army modernization and a few more years and we will be solid. Also, time to incorporate states because we have a few of those now, but we do have more bureaucracy than we used to, which is all coming from Lower Egypt mainly. We just need to prevent separatism. So it might be time to decrease taxes and then increase them over here secretly. That way we can at least get the standard of living up a bit more, which will be nice for most of everybody. And also now that we have done that, Egypt's uh, prestige and military power is just going to fall off a cliff, 32, so we'll be able to annex them later for basically nothing. Now, he's gonna gain popularity, that's fine. We need more... Mainly, actually, we just need less radicals. So, let me take a look at any institutions. Can we do a health system? We cannot, as we do not have pharmaceuticals. We need the Sunni Ulema in charge. We can reform the government for 66% legitimacy over here. And then, what can we do? Can we do our appointed bureaucrats yet? Mm, we could try, but they'd be mad and they would cry. This would get the intelligentsia to like us a little bit more, though. So let's try 39% chance to pass. They have a little thingy over here so that'll work do we have any agitators are there any agitators there are zero agitators agitating for nothing love to see it love to see it okay standard of living is now rising this would rise a lot faster if i could get some more institutions mainly for healthcare, but that's okay um looks like we kind of just do some more reduce autonomy plays around here mascara will accept that'll be nice for us extending our borders ever so slightly further we now technically nope nope almost have a border with spain eight more months on general staff this is the last one of the transmit that we are going to actively do and then we just have to let separatism be suppressed for another uh 15 years total so it looks like another four years so 1850 will be Actually, no. Wait, what is the start date? I forgot what the start date is. I think it's 36, isn't it? 1836 is the start date, so that would be 1851, I believe? I think so. Okay, we'll just, we'll go with that. We'll just assume it's that, so that's five more years. Yes, I like it. Red tape, ooh. No, we'll do that bottom one. We're gonna increase chance to pass. The stall factor is still super high and I don't like it. And there we have it. We have general staff now, which honestly, let me go ahead and queue up some other technology. I don't know exactly which one I want to do really. Let's take a quick look. Medical degrees, that's what we really need actually. Health system would be insane for us. That would get our standard of living up quite a bit more and help fix our radical problem, which we do have a little bit of a radical problem. Okay, but now that we have that done, uh, this construction sector is going to iron frame buildings and development. Every single one of these needs to be general training and not no organized training. With that done, we unpause and army modernization is completed. Easy. Okay, 
Now we come back to the journal tab. All we need now is this one to be done because we have three out of the four on the Tanzimit, so sick men of Europe. We gotta have four done, we've got three done. We need just this one and it'll auto-complete. Like I say, just treat your people okay and you will get this. 15 years from the start of the game, so literally all we gotta do is just let it play out for a little bit, manage our infamy, reduce autonomy and subjects, you know, just do some general, like, internal affairs stuff. Also, what the hell is this? Russia, why are you in Crete? That is disgusting. I hate this. I, I actively hate it. That is disgusting. That's gross. Don't do that, Russia. You're nasty. Ew, nasty. Now, if it's any reason why we didn't do urbanization, if you want an actual reason for it, it's because if we do the two conquest ones, we actually have less percent of our states urbanized than when we started because we've gained all of these. Many of these do not have urban centers, so it just makes it more difficult for us to achieve if we go down the conquest path, which the conquest path is super easy. So that's why we didn't even attempt the urbanization one. The education reform one is kind of in the same ballpark because literacy rate down here, even if we start increasing it in this place, once we take all this, it's going to reduce our literacy rate. So we're going to be, you know, climbing, climbing, and then we're just going to get a big drop all of a sudden and we're gonna have to keep going and it's gonna be more expensive it's just gonna be all around not great if that makes sense but that's why we didn't want to do those two and then bureaucratic reform like say it's just a luck game try to go for it if you can you might get lucky you might not just try it see if you can get it let's see more autonomy reduction who can I do let's try Oman Oman will accept let's get them look at that more more of that Ottoman green that we all love so much especially we eat EU4 players. We sure do love Ottoman green, don't we? Alright, I was gonna drop theirs. Reduce autonomy. Constantine, yep. Uh, Tagort, yep, they'll accept. Reduce autonomy of the Balkans. Just overall gonna give us way more money to use and more power altogether. Diplomatic packs are making me about 16,000, which is actually really, really good. We just gotta let the infamy just drain down slowly, though. It'll keep on falling. And we managed to get a point of bureaucrats, so let's see if we can actually get this last one beforehand. Traditionalism, agrarianism, uh, we gotta have some support for it, but these guys are gonna throw a hissy fit if we try that, so maybe we don't do that. Everyone's unhappy, everybody hates the government, everybody hates me, this is tragic. I will cry bitterly about this tomorrow, not today though. Not on the camera, I'm gonna cry in the corner after I'm done recording. That way you can't bully me for it. And, oh, we're just uh, zooming off the screen, I guess. All right, we've almost wrangled back the entire Ottoman Empire. I don't remember if Morocco was part of the Ottoman Empire or not. I'm gonna be honest. I think it was, but I don't remember. The last one I really just wanna get is Egypt. Uh, once I get that, that is probably the Ottoman Empire, like, reformed, at least to the extent that I'm really looking for. But we can see uh, Egypt is now unrecognized power. They are a nothing power. We could eat them all and no one would say a thing. And it would make our borders look super sexy and I'm all about sexy borders. Enact homesteading on here. There's no way. They'd be so royally pissed. Though the Austrians would, never mind. The Austrians would not help me. They are dying. I should probably help them. 161 versus 74, yeah, I definitely need to help my boys out. Hell no, you ain't taking my friend down that way. Not that easily. Send them in. Send in the Ottoman Janissaries. Actually, I don't even think they're Janissaries anymore. Maybe they are, I don't know. Get up there, fellas. We'll go bankrupt to save our ally, cause having an Austrian ally is a really good thing, actually. Uh, we'll send you guys around to this front, actually, to save them. Up oh, they're cocky. Civil War Native Uprising. They're confident. Okay, so they're just going to be confident because... Okay, so it looks like we're stronger on this. So, sure, let's do it. Oh, we have a big advantage here. Big pushes all around. Let's split the offensive so that we don't die. Yeah, there's only 19k here. So, yeah, let's just zoom through the country. Dismantle them piece by piece. We have 100% here. Let's go. Let's go. Keep pushing them. Keep pushing them. Just keep pushing up into them. All play and no work. Um, fired. Eh, it looks like we've saved Austria. The Ottoman Empire in Austria. Historic allies, I'll have you know. All right, we have saved our boy Austria. Let's go. So they should give up at some point. What is this? 
Let's not gain 28 infamy. Sorry, no, thank you. The radicals will be okay. They're not that mad. There's just a lot of them. There's not a lot of percentage of them. You see, that's how, that's how you gotta look at it. There we go, Austrian revolt done. We did it. We saved them and they, they're gonna... Bro, you have the balls to be belligerent towards me? I just saved your life. No, all wants to conquer states over the Ottoman Empire. You piece of absolute shit. You have the gall to be belligerent towards me after that. Okay, Austria. Okay. Yeah, sure, bud. I, I'm, I'm gonna declare war on Russia and call you in. How about that? You're gonna love that. Actually, we'll just, we'll just do it on Prussia so that you're the front line and you get destroyed. Try it. Try to be a dick to me. Try it. Try it. Go for it. Try it. We're allies and a trade agreement. You're belligerent towards me. After I saved your life, this is the things I get. I see how it is. I literally just saved you from death. You had a civil war, sir. You were going to die. And you have the audacity to be belligerent towards me. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll remember this. I'll remember this, okay? Sleep with one eye open, Austria. All right, let's crush this little uh, fiasco down here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Kablooey, right? Yeah, g get him. Blammo. And we win. I don't know what you were thinking there. That was dumb. And we've almost got this one done. We got like two more years on that. So yeah, just a little bit more waiting, really. Ooh, let's take our text all the way down. We're going to get good lives for people. Our government is not going to be contested, please. It is contested. That's dumb. Hey, there's our medical degrees. Hell yeah, brother. All right, uh, currency standards in the meantime. Let's see if we can pass some sort of health system. Charity hospitals, we can put the Ulema in charge to do that one. Right here, Ulema, get in charge. We are going to go with charity hospitals because we need our people to be able to live. Would you guys like to surrender, please? You've, your whole country is under occupation right now. How have you not surrendered yet? Come on, give in, give in. Please, please give in. Uh, no, they're not going to. Okay, they're gonna drag it all the way out to 100. That's, uh, that's how it goes. That's how it goes. All right, cool, cool, cool. What do I even do in that last year that I gotta wait? Suppress separatism. We're almost done. It's just all about waiting time. That's all we gotta do. All we gots to do is wait. I don't know where all this extra money is coming from. I really don't. No idea. Yep, yep, now you're damaging relations with me. You piece of shit. It's making my face twitch. That's how mad I am. Austria? Really? Really? Right after the Civil War. Yeah, I see how it is. That's fine. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. Mm -mm. Nope, I'm not mad. All right, looks like we can make Egypt our protectorate now. And Russia should get involved, I don't think. They might. They might. They hate us, so they might. Um, actually, I'm kind of expecting them to, but in that case, I'll call Austria, who definitely won't come into war, because even though they're my ally, my ally, my ally, I don't know if I can emphasize this enough, they are my fucking ally, and Russia sided with Egypt. You! Okay, okay, yeah, now transfer state. Really? Ottoman Montenegro? You know what? Sure, if that's the state that you really want so badly you're willing to break our alliance over, I'll give it to you. Yeah. All right, Russia, you're really gonna try this, huh? Really gonna try this. Name and success chance, can I add anything to him? Nah, it's not worth it. All right, let's just play defense. We'll, we'll bring these dudes up. <sighs> And they have no general whatsoever. So you gonna go here, you gonna get promoted, you gonna go back and you gonna go sit on defense. Mobilize up to there. Egypt is of no concern whatsoever. Oh, Tanzimit, suppress suppression is done. We did it. Tanzimit, reorganization, we're good. Um, okay. So uh, since this is also a tutorial video, I'm trying to uh, put the Russia stuff behind me. Uh, once you get the Tanzimit done, completely done, sick man of Europe is over, you get this. This is the option to either get 20% home defense, 20% home defense, and plus 25% military research speed for or five years, which is nothing. I'm gonna be honest, five years is nothing. Or you can get claims on all of this. Now, honestly, personally, I think this is better. I think the claims are just better because five years just isn't enough time to be worth anything. I don't think any buff worth only five years is enough to take over a permanent claim. So yeah, I'm gonna take that. And that gives you claims on kind of this area up here in Austria and in Greece. So Peloponnese, Attica, uh, Transylvania, stuff like that. 
There you go. Empiricism is now unlocked. That's excellent. And you need a commander, so you're gonna uh, right here. Boom. There you go. Easy, easy. Mobilize. You're gonna go right here. Um, it looks like you need everybody upgraded. So we're gonna do that. Upgrade all units on everything. And we're just gonna play defense on Russia because what did what did Egypt give them? Why is Russia here? What did Egypt give them? It's probably just an obligation. Or watch they became the protectorate and then I have to actually like fight Russia themselves. We're gonna import from the Prussian and the British market and the French market for ammunition. You're gonna go up here, you're gonna go somewhere. Where we're gonna lose some money in the meantime, but that's okay. Um, I'm pretty sure we have more military power than these guys. Yeah, they're fearful altogether with Austria on our side. How much military power do these guys have? Almost 8,000. That is a lot. I've got 3,000. Austria has... Yeah, yeah, 7,000. So together we win, or at least we should. Uh, import roots. Um, boom, boom, boom. Same three people. Okay, and then these guys, we're just gonna blitz into them. I swear to God, if Egypt just became their protectorate, that's going to piss me off no how did they get him it must have just been a uh must have just been an obligation then all right push them down in the south we'll let austria hold on up there and these guys will just go here we're just gonna blitz into egypt which state is their capital region this one down here blue nile so that is where we are going to push to army disney strategic objective is the blue nile we'll push to there push them while they're not defending this front at all and we should just win once egypt capitulates we won't have to fight all this in russia which russia gets Getting involved anyway is just stupid. They're doing it just to screw me over. Uh, you know, completely losing battle, frankly. They brought nine troops. That's cute. That's quaint. Yeah, yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. You're not doing anything. You have 40 defense. You think that's anything? Yeah, that won't last you long enough. I got enough people to throw at you for days, sir. Push them. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. You thought your 40 defense could do anything? No, no. We're taking Egypt. We're taking Hejaz. We're taking all of it. Blitz into them. They can't stop you. We're too strong. There we go. Take the capital. Game over. And we're pushing into Russia. Good job, Austria. Even though you still probably hate me. Nope, you're genial now. You were minus 200 for Montenegro? The one state was enough to make you minus 200? A one state with a population of 200,000. The GDP of 100,000. You were willing to break our alliance over that? You could have just asked me. I'm disgusted. I am, I am, I'm disgusted. You inbred Habsburg fucks. God, you make me mad. You and your stupid ass baby. Look at this three-year-old fucking idiot. This dude already looks like he needs to be in the retirement home. Okay, um, <laughs> ranting aside, there we go. Um, that's it. That's all you really had to do. Mine is this, which was apparently so that they were gonna kill me over it. <sighs> okay, so that is how you restore the Ottoman Empire in Victoria 3. It's pretty easy process. You know, you go through, you beat up Egypt, then you beat up Egypt, then you beat up Egypt uh, and then you'll beat up Egypt one more time that comes later uh, we haven't got to that part yet build up your military and then just sit and do nothing and you do it it's really that easy just improve relations with all your neighbors uh, mainly Austria if you get Austria to like you you're pretty much safe but yeah, that is gonna do it. I will make one note though, I believe at the very beginning of the game, it is worth checking because you might just be able to make Persia your protectorate right off the bat. It's a lot of infamy, but if you can gauge your infamy pretty well, you can take them as your protector early, annex them down later. And they're a pretty strong vassal to also have and it makes the borders look nice. I didn't do that in this one just because I wanted to get through the process a little bit faster because it's about 40 infamy. And at this point I would have 62 infamy, which is, it, it's not doable to do in this quickly, but yeah, 15 years, Ottoman Empire is restored, and we are looking good. So I'll play it out a little longer just so I can reduce Egypt's autonomy down, just so I can let you guys see the nice, sexy borders. Was not expecting that. French diplomatic play to conquer Constantine. Ooh, very scary. All right, well, in that case, um, I will add the war goal of taking that state from them. How about that? What is this? French Algiers and French Constantine? Okay, okay, we'll do that. Uh, French Constantine, we'll do French Algiers because it's less infamy. Okay, and then we will call in our ally once we can. 
And Spain too, honestly. Sure. Transfer subject. Austria wants to join. In exchange for transferring our subject. Dude, 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 dude. No. You're literally my ally. I'm not gonna give you Montenegro for that. Join this. And then also maybe for Tripolitania? That is too much. No, I'm not doing that. So I my troops are not built up. Dang, they're never ready to go, even though I pay them a lot of money to be ready to go. They don't uh, get in anymore. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna mobilize and deploy them to the defense. And same with these guys, mobilize and defense, apparently. This is what I kept just for wanting to see Egypt under my control. All right, Austria, you're gonna send troops. Please, please send troops. Man, they have a ton of people here. I might have to send another army. Screw it, send everybody to the defense. And yep, that'll work. We'll lose some money, but it'll be all right. France has just decided it now hates me. Import from the American market, let's do it. They conquer Constantine, they conquer Constantine. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, Austria's gonna push there for us, that's good. And we're gonna hold defensively here, and then they're gonna push there and lose. Um, apparently Mascara's not involved, so I can't push there. That's all right, honestly. If Austria can win this battle, and then, ooh, let's go, big defensive numbers. I'm gonna cause them a lot of casualties. All right, we have advantage here. So as long as they don't try anything stupid, it looks like we'll win. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 you guys are gonna cancel all of your trade routes. Woohoo. Love to see that. All right, Austria's gonna push there and lose and then push there. Why is your offense only 13, bro? Are you, you're pushing with the, the Constantine troops. Don't do that. Don't, no, just play defense. Just play defense. You'll be fine. Let's go. High defense. Um, hmm. Can I do something to make the armed forces happy? Uh, let's see. What laws do they want passed? Anything that I can give them? National Guard for 10 or local police force for five that'll give them plus seven and dedicated police force for seven that's honestly not bad let's knock out this one and then maybe do national guard too and that'll make them uber happy and we'll get more defense and offense score still holding there and here they're death stacking and just losing a ton of ton of troops what are the casualty breakdowns dead 69,000 and wounded 80,000 cost of wars and why is it costing me more? This is their war that they started. Now I gotta pay for it? Probably just because Austria keeps throwing themselves at France. Uh, let's see how good their war support is. It's not very, but France's is worse. So we might just be able to get a white piece out of this. Maybe if I can get enough people to jump back into the, uh, you know, into everything. Might have to mobilize these guys too and just send them to this one. Play defense, defend front. Defend front, defend front, defend front. Just to give us a little bit more power because it's starting to wane, but that's why we have reserves. And we also have these guys here, so I might mobilize them too and send them up to there and have them play defense. Also, uh, Nightman success chance, sure, let's do it. I just need to hold defensively. That's all we got to do. We're doing pretty well at it too, is the thing. They're losing quite a few casualties. Piss off, France. You can't have this. Co-belligerent in default. It's too bad, you're my puppet. And why are we losing all of a sudden? Play defense. Defense, guys. Hey, why do I have stronger defense than Austria? And why are they pushing through it anyway? That doesn't add up. These numbers don't add up at all. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, more brain power stuff. I might just snag central banking while I'm here. Hold this war. Yeah, we're winning. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You can't push me out of here, France. I'm too based. Too based all around. And as soon as I get this law passed, I can get even higher defensive bonuses and we'll just be completely, completely solid. 50 defense plus another 20% on top of that will be like 60 defense and you're just not breaking through. Now that assumes that Austria doesn't bail on me. Okay, looks like they're not going to. If these guys offer white piece, I'm just gonna take it. I don't need French Algiers. Honestly, that was kind of dumb of me to press anyway. I should have just took war reps or the default. That way they would fall down and I'd just be able to take money from them. This ain't gonna be able to push this. They ain't gonna be able to push it at all. Trade agreement from Prussia? Sure. Minus 70 is achievable through capitulation. Well, who's gonna capitulate? My ally is. That's, that's probably what's gonna happen. Austria's gonna bail on me and then leave me to die. That's probably what happens, actually. I bet you that's what happens. Okay, why trade routes? I see. Lingering convoy raiding. Good thing we don't need convoys for this because we have a land bridge. And come on, you can't break through that. 
33 versus 55 with less troops, and you're gonna tell me I lose? You're gonna tell me I lose. Really? How does that work? How does that work? Those numbers don't add up. And now they're winning by a lot for some reason. Uh, they're gonna take Constantine from me because they're so confident. And my ally's gonna back out. Yeah, capitulation desire, they're about to give in. And they're gonna leave me by myself. And... Huh? Do I not yet to push through Tunis? No, because they attacked my vassal and not me. Okay. Where are all my troops at? No, bitch. If, if I'm gonna lose this, you're gonna capitulate me for it, okay? That's how this is gonna work. All right, so here's what we do, here's what we do. I'm not dying that easily. We're gonna make a naval invasion right here, and you know, they're not gonna be guarding it. That's that's my bet, that's my bet. They're not gonna be guarding it, we're gonna snag it real quick, and then we're gonna win. Because as of right now, as of right now, we're gonna take a look, take a look. Our, their war support goes down by three per, mine also goes down by three per, so if I take the, the base, yeah, watch this, watch this, watch this. Biggest play you've ever seen. Advance front, advance front, advance front, advance front. We're gonna win this war. Watch this, watch this, right here. They're not gonna send their armies in. They're caught with their pants down. Guess who wins? Guess who wins? Uh, apparently I don't have the war goal, so apparently I just lose. Even though I have French Constantine. Or did I take, did I go for French Algiers? Wait, 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 what? Uh, I took for them, why did I go for Algiers? Am I dumb? I am stupid, ah! Okay, okay, hold on, we can fix this. We can fix stupidity. That is something we can do. Boom, French Algiers. Hotawa! Huh? Why can I not choose you? There, I choose you. Boom! Hee 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 hee. Okay, so I'm now losing war score because why? I don't know. They started this war. They don't have the war goal. I'm winning. I should not be losing. That's not how this should work. But screw you anyway. All right, do I have the... No, do I, no, not yet. Not yet. Let's try it again. Another naval invasion to this other spot right here. And that will do it, maybe. <sighs> maybe, maybe, maybe. There, there's no way they should be winning all this. They're trying to naval invade here. And somehow they're winning, even though, even though we have everything here. That's amazing. All right, everybody, you go station right there. Do not let them take my capital. They are, never mind, they took it already. How does that work? It's a naval invasion. I, I, I'm not that weak. Where's all my people? Where are they? I don't understand this game. I have 700 hours and I still don't get it. Advance front. We'll just advance and retake our capital before they can do anything about it. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Ha ha, you lost the capital. Oh, it's almost like you're stupid. Bye bye. Yep, yep, you lose. And I have the war goal now. So guess who wins? Guess who wins? It's still not gonna be me. It's still gonna like drop me faster for some reason. Nope, nope, we might get, catch up with it actually. They wanna wipe his, no, 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 no. You ain't pulling that and then acting like nothing happened, okay? I'm gonna take what I want and you're gonna give it to me. This is the war. This is it. This is what you're gonna give me. Come on, drop down, drop down, drop down. Drop your war support, drop it down. You ain't winning this. Not after you pull that. You ain't doing it. You ain't doing it. I ain't letting that happen. If I go down, you're coming with me. Case closed. This is my Ottoman North Africa, not yours. Good day, sir. Get out of here. All right, well, that was excellent. Screw you, France. Never touch me again. Never, never. Don't do it. Okay, uh, where was it? Oh yeah! Reduce autonomy of Egypt! Never mind, we're not doing that yet. All right, well, they're almost cordial, and that means they're still rebellious! Don't we love to see that? Mmm, it's beautiful. I love rebellious countries. I absolutely do. So you see the, uh, that natural enemy modifier? Mmm, beautiful. It is one of the best things in this whole game. There's no sarcasm, not at all. At least they're not damaging relations, I will say that. That is one of the things that is keeping this from being absolutely horrendous. I want to reduce the autonomy of Egypt and then we can be done. It'll be great. We'll have restored the Ottoman Empire. Okay, can I reduce autonomy in Egypt? They have a 25% chance to accept. And who would join them? Um, no one, so let's just crush them. I'm tired of waiting. No one join. If you join, I cry. If I cry, I die. We push. Push down, finish them off. No one better join. Give them with call ally. That's fine. Uh, for a diplomatic obligation. It is Egypt, Austria. I don't, I don't need you. I'm gonna be honest. Just don't, I don't see why you're necessary here. I'm gonna be honest. Up, uh, up, uh, you really wanna get involved. Ban slavery in Egypt. Okay. 
See, Egypt, if I were you, I would just back down. That's, uh, no, that's just me. That's just me. I would back down if I were you. You're fearful already? You'll have to pay me some more money? There you go. That's what I like to see. Look at this Ottoman Empire. We did it. That's how you restore the Ottoman Empire in Victoria 3 1.6 in the current version. It'll probably change a little bit in the next version. I don't have to make this video all over again, but there you have it. This is how you restore the Ottoman Empire. Honestly, in 15 years, but we did it in 20 because I wanted to be a little bit more greedy and take all of Egypt. And then I had to fight France and I kicked France's ass with probably the most bullshit uh, move ever, but that doesn't matter. That is going to conclude this episode, everyone. I will give you like one more less little tidbit. Just pay attention to Persia. They're really easy to make a protector, but it costs a lot of infamy. But the thing about it is, usually people don't like to sit in this uh, interest region, but uh, Russia does sometimes, sometimes they don't. Uh, you might get lucky on it, you might not. So that's, that's that for you. But anyway, that is gonna conclude this episode of Victoria 3. I hope you all enjoyed and found this informational, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.